Hello friends, welcome to C Sub Space. Today, in this video session, we will uh, discuss to perform a good operations means insert, update, and delete uh, into ASP.NET MVC using store procedures. So, let's start. We create a new project and then we choose here uh, ASP.NET MVC empty project we write here name code mbc then click on empty and a view engine as a razor so now it's creating a project now project is created so in first step we need to connect the database with this project so i already have a database for this i create a, this database employee db and i also create a one more table for uh, crude operations means insert update and delete so i will show you this tables this table contain the following information employee id its identity type and its name address city pin code and designation so we need to create a store process for this in this example i have used edu.net so you can use any other technologies like uh, links entity frameworks so i need to create a store procedures for this create proc sp employee employee it's a for add You pin their parameters. It's a name. It's a name. It's a an America type. You copy this. And it's a address. And this for city. And it's a pin code. It's a begin. Begin. And it's a designation. Designation. It's a in America type as begin and it's end insert into table name table name is tbl apply is the value value is this name address city and pin code and designations so i copy this and i remove their definitions We need to run this. No command completed successfully. This for this is to proceed for adding the record into database. Now I created procedures for update record. So sp employee update. Here we take a uh, one more parameter. It's a MPID. It's a integer type, and it's a uh, copy all these parameters as begin and it's end update 
the TVL employee set and its name is equal to at the rate uh, name its uh, address is equal to at the rate address and its city is equal to at the rate city and its a pin code pin code is equal to at the rate pin code and its a designation designation is equal to at the rate designations We remove this bracket swing error where where MP ID is equal to at the rate MP IDs for updating the record on the behalf of this employee ID. Now we run this. Now command completed successfully. Now we need to create a stop process for deleting the record. Create stop sp employee delete. Here we take only one parameters. as begin and it's a delete from tvl employee where emp emp id is equal to at the rate emp id and we run this queries now command completed successfully this part deleting the record and we need to create one more stop process for handing the record on the behalf of id employee employee id let's say emp score ids as begin and select store here we pending all the records it's a tbl employee where where emp id is equal to add the rate emp id so this is to proceed for finding the record on the behalf of this id so this is all the all the stop procedures for uh, crude operations now we go to our controller firstly we need to create a database access layer means we create a class for all the database operations so here i create a one more folder for this it's a data base access layer and here I create a class for this it's a db dot cs I also add a connection string in web dot config It's a connection string. Connection strings add. 
what's the name is equal to call the next connect string Let's paste it and uh, it's a provider name system system dot data dot SQL client and we save it now this can connection stage is connected and this is uh, all the store procedures for add delete and update and this for handling the record on the basis of their employee id so now we go to our db.cs and here we add some more namespaces using system dot data dot sql client using system dot data using system dot configurations now here we create a connection object which will do new it's a configuration manager dot connection string it's a con dot connection strings now now we need to create a functions for it update and delete public public wide it's a at record add record and uh, we also need to create a class for uh, employee table so i go to this model folder and create uh, one more class for employee this employee Here we create a classes for this and employee PMP IDs and it's a prop string it's a name and it's a address and this is the city and this is the pin code input and this for designation this is all the class for this table so now we go to our db.cs and using one more name spaces it's a crude mbc dot models here we write employee like uh, emp here we write uh, SQL command com is equal to new SQL command and we write here uh, this procedure name and we it's a con pass a connection object and command type is equal to command type dot store procedures command dot dot parameters dot add with value
and copy it multiple times we need to rewrite this parameters name here this is the name this is the address this for city this for pin code and this for designations and here we write their object surname mp dot address mp dot city mp dot input and amp dot designations when we open a connection form dot execute norm query and then close connection this procedure for adding record now we create the procedures for updating the record it's a white update record we copy this and here also pause Employees CMP in the year we pass uh, update store procedures and we also pass this employee ID and we write uh, one more parameters EMP ID this for updating the record on the behalf of this employee id and now we create a function for handling the record so let record by id here is skill command com is equal to new skill command here we take a parameters for this it's a con Insert command type dot command type dot is to procedures insert com dot parameters dot add with value Stored value and we write their parameters name. Its parameters name is MPID. Here we pass these parameters. SQL data adapter DA is equal to new SQL data adapter. It's a com. It's a data set. DS is equal to new data set and DA dot kill DS and then return this data set object 
and this is the function for finding the record on the basis of their id now we create uh, functions for deleting the record delete record here also take uh, ids for parameters we write uh, this process now we open a connection and say com dot execute non carry and say close and this is the functions for deleting the record on the basis of their ids now we need we go to our controller and create a new home controller it's a home Oh, this is edit this for show data show data here we use some more name spaces using code models and calling the database access layer for passing their values it's a db layer for to new it's for so data so it's a data set ds is equal to new data set ds is equal to db layer dot uh, so record we need to also create for handling all the records i also create a store process for this employee call we remove this parameters and we run this process it's employee all now go to our db.cs copy this and here we change the method name is so data then our process name is this and there is no need to any parameters so now this is the functions for getting all the records you now go to home controller it's a so data it's a view back dot uh, emp is equal to db layer dot equal to ds dot tables zero so i add a view for this action method so click on add now it's creating a view for this action result method 
it's currently adding a record so for created designs we need to add a bootstrap else for create a table on this page so i copy this bootstrap dot main dot css and we need to copy this file into this project we paste it here and we link this file to our page so i need to create a um, tables for display the records from this table i already create a tables designs for this so i copy this This is the employee IDs, name, address, cities, pin code, and designations. So we go to our view bag. This is the view bag where we store all the records from this data set. So here we writing a for each loop for this. So for each. For each, for each is a system dot data dot data row. It's a dr and is record is inserted into this view pack. So we copy this and dot rows for iterations on the view of this data row. And we take this tr into this for each loop. And then here we write uh, it's at the rate tr. And see employee IDs. And this for name. And uh, this for address. And this for city. And this for pin code. And here we write designations. Let's see. The lessons and we need to also create one more page for inserting the record. So I create here one more action result method. It's a public action result. Let's add. Record and here we close this employee class. It's a EMP then create object for this. It's a return view we add a view for this action method we here create a form for inserting the record into this table so we need to create designs for this so I already created designs for this so simply copy this designs into this add record this is the, all the designs for inserting the record into table now we go to our controller And here we take a form collection, save C.
from collection and here we provide their values from this form collection its uh, name name is equal to fc we firstly copy this this input for name and this for address and this is the city and this for pin numbers pin code this for designations now we pass now we change this class to their respected form collections and this for city and this for pin and this for designations now we pass let's say db layer dot add record and pass this plus object then we print a message for this msg which equal to is inserted this is for this view for showing the record so we create one more for get record and we moderate it as a http post now we write this temp message into view for showing the alert box we write it here if if temp msg is is not equal to null then let's say script let's say alert alert we alert this message now we run this page here write uh, make a test name address is in new delhi and its a city is like uh, new delhi pin code 
Main three and it's a software developer. Then click to submit. Now record is inserted. So I write uh, wrong spelling name for this. Now we create a view for displaying the record. We already created the base for this. So we go to this page and uh, display the our inserted record. now loading our page now it's showing the record implied id is 1 and uh, name is a test name it's address this is the city and this is the pin code and this for destinations now we create a uh, buttons for update and uh, delete so here we add uh, one more one more column it's a th like i write it as actions and here we taking it's one for update and one for delete then we create a functions for update and delete like uh, update record it's 10 uh, update uh, id okay, 10 uh, parameter as uh, id and then we copy this because we provide all the parameters Uh, HTTP post and we use a form collection also form collection it's FC and then we copy this And we also provide a EMP dot uh, it's EMP ID is equal to ID and uh, then we change their function name or update function image update Date record and then change here a message update it now we create a view for this now we copy our inserted Home record said record now we need to call one more functions for finding all the record on the basis of this id so create a data set is equal to ds tv layer dot so record by id we here we pass id and it's a view back 
dot uh, employee record ts dot tables zero now we go to update and here we create a for each loop for this it's a system dot data dot data row it's a dr ts dot dot rows and here we bind all the related datas like values equal to at the rate dr right here it's a name and this for address this for city this for pin code and this for designations now we go to our show data page and uh, here we call that functions href it's a home and we write this update record it's containing a query string ids id is equal to at the rate dr it's a employee id now we run this page now it's showing the record and when you click on uh, update it's show all the record on the behalf of this id if we change any name like uh, we remove name and click on submit button it's throwing an error so we need to check this it's wrong to here we not provide a value for imply ids parameters so we need to provide their value it's a name this for employee id sign name address city spin code and designations we now again run this project we also need to change their return view because when record is updated it throwing an error so i pause on this view when record is updated so redirect to action and right here name view name and 
rewrite it on a post method redirect redirect to action write here a name let's say so data now we again run this Now we click on update button if we change their test names click on submit button no the record is updated and if we again change their names think we need to change this alert message on a so data for showing the confirm message because it's redirects uh, to the display page after the record is updated now we need to create a method for deleting the record so here I create delete record it's a delete record and pass this ID and this ID is provided into this parameters at the rate employee ID we get we pass as a message delete it and then we call this function it's a href is equal to So home delete report id is equal to at the rate dr employee id now we run this page now click on a delete button so we need to also return their view because it's throwing an error because there is no view present for this delete record now again build a solution then again run this now run then click on a delete button record is deleted and data table is empty so this is all for the code operations in ASP.NET MVC using store procedures so thanks for watching if you have any questions or any queries please write in the comment box i will reply you soon 
and if you like my videos and get latest notification please click on subscribe buttons and uh, bell icons and hit on the like buttons so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session